It's hard to believe that the only difference is that one on the left is OnePlus 6 native camera and on the right is the Pixel 3 camera on the OnePlus 6. Hi guys, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at Google camera, the Pixel 3 camera running on my OnePlus 6. Let's go ahead and take a look. Hi guys, so one on the left is taken with the OnePlus 6 camera on Android 9.0 Pi and also one on the right is taken with the Pixel 3 camera app on the OnePlus 6. Alright, in this photo, uh, both photos look pretty good. However, zooming in, you could see the Pixel 3 does pick up a little bit more details. You can also almost read the sign of the handicap sign on top of the car on the right, while all the letters are very fuzzy with the OnePlus 6. Now, zooming out, you're not going to be able to tell too much difference between the two, but definitely the Pixel 3 camera can give you some extra details. Now, as far as bringing up the shadows, I would say the OnePlus 6 native camera does a lot better. Here's another shot during daylight. In this shot, I actually thought OnePlus 6 native camera did a lot better, really bringing out the shadows of the trees while it's really crushed with the Pixel 3 camera. Uh, here's another shot where the Pixel 3 crushes everything, where the OnePlus 6 does an excellent job. Now the highlights do get blown a little bit with the OnePlus 6, but yeah, in this situation, I would actually prefer the OnePlus 6. Here's another photo at a restaurant. I would say the colors are actually more accurate with the Pixel 3. And zooming into this lamp, definitely the Pixel 3 camera has slightly more details. Here's some cam trails of California. I felt like both phones did pretty well here. Not too much difference. Now overall, I felt like the OnePlus 6 camera is actually excelente in daylight. In most situations, I would actually use that. But in low light, it was where it made the difference. Now looking at this photo, you could see a lot more noise with the OnePlus 6 camera. Zooming in here, you could clearly see where the OnePlus 6 sort of lacks colors, um, looks sort of, sort of washed out, while the Pixel 3 gives you that clarity. It's night and day here. These are the same camera sensor and hardware. It's hard to believe that the only difference is that one on the left is OnePlus 6 native camera and on the right is the Pixel 3 camera on the OnePlus 6. So in low light, Pixel 3 really helps out and enable to get you that photo. Otherwise, it would look much noisier uh, with less details. Here's another photo, um, very challenging photo that has bright light at the top left, also very dark at the bottom. Now zooming in a little bit, right away you notice how much clearer the photos get with the Pixel 3 camera. This is due to Google's smart processing of these low light photos where they actually stitch up multiple exposures and also optimize the camera abilities to really align these photos together. What you end up is night and day. Definitely not nearly identical. And zooming in even closer, Look at the difference! If I didn't tell you this was shot on the same phone, you would think that these were shot on different cameras. Alright, next we're gonna go ahead and compare some portrait photos I took. I took this photo on purpose with a bright light in the back, and also in portrait mode is where the Pixel 3 camera shines. Um, it's able to expose the background properly, and you're gonna get more details. Now, your photos are going to come out a little bit cropped, but look at how much more detail you get with the Pixel 3 camera. You get so much more details. I feel sad. I look older because it's so much detail. So OnePlus 6 has an excellent camera already, but definitely low light and portrait shots, you're going to get a lot more details. Also, you could add more blur with the Pixel 3 camera. Um, here's another challenging shot with the light behind me. Again, you could see how well the Pixel 3 camera picks up all the details, while the OnePlus 6 native camera is sort of losing detail. Alright, here's another camera in low light in front of my computer. And look at the definition of the Pixel 3 camera on the right versus OnePlus 6, very, very soft, um, sort of washed out. Look at the hair, it's all blurring in the wrong places. I took the computer light off, now this is very, very low light. And look at how fuzzy the OnePlus 6 photo gets while the Pixel 3 camera still picks up all of the details and it looks good. So I'm really impressed. Definitely in low light, especially in portrait mode, you're gonna get like twice the better performance than using the OnePlus 6 camera. But let me go ahead and show you how to install it. Hi guys, so I do highly recommend installing this. Let me go ahead and show you how to install it. It's really easy to do. Um, if you have previous existing Google cameras, make sure you uninstall them all. Otherwise, it will not install. And go ahead and make sure you are running the latest uh, Android 9.0 and you can see Android version 9. All right. If you don't have Android 9.0, uh, make sure you upgrade your phone or you can also install a custom ROM running 
Android 9.0 Pie. All right, next go ahead and go to apkquick.com and go to Pixel 3 Camera APK for OnePlus 6. I'll have a link to this and go ahead and go down to the download link where it says link. Go ahead and go to the link. Make sure you open with Chrome and go ahead and go down all the way down to uh, wait a few seconds to download. Uh, when it says click here to download, go ahead and click on it, hold and download link and go ahead and hit download. All right, that should take a few seconds. All right, once complete, go ahead and tap on it, tap on install. You may have to check unknown sources on. Once it's installed, go ahead and hit open, hit allow, 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 allow. All right, and you should be good to go. Now, I do recommend turning on manual control of the HDR mode. You can do this under settings, advanced, and set HDR plus control on. And if you want raw files, go ahead and check that on. And if you're gonna make videos, make sure H.265 is also on, so you save some storage space. Go ahead and hit the back button twice. And now you should have an option where you can go ahead and set this HDR plus on uh, or HDR plus enhance. I do recommend using HDR plus enhance for low light photography, but it can lag a little bit during the daylight. So if you do need to take action shots, um, go ahead and put it on HDR plus, which is much faster, All right? And you will also be able to enjoy um, the new Google lens. So let's go ahead and actually try something like that. I'll go ahead and take a photo. All right, go ahead and hit the Google lens here. And it's gonna figure out um, different things. For example, it'll allow you to copy the phone number here, uh, or you can go to the website. Also, you're gonna be able to copy and paste all the text, all right? That's really cool. Um, there's other features with it, but the most important thing, you're gonna get much better low life photography with the Pixel 3 camera. Of course, you can also use it along with your native camera, which is another plus. Um, so definitely check it out and do try it out tonight or tomorrow night, whenever you get the chance, take some photos with both of these cameras. And I'm telling you, it's gonna improve your low life performance by over 100%, 200%. It's amazing what this camera can do. Have a great day. And as always, stay <coughs> on Android. Click here to subscribe, 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 to subscribe.